Good morning, this is Andrew from Trend Following Mentor. Today is December 13th, 2013, and I'm going to talk to you about um, trying to buy the strongest stocks in the strongest sectors when the market's <coughs> excuse me, healthy. I guess the first thing we have to do is talk about the market. Um, first of all, it's the S&P 500. I, I look at that as a scenario. And really what's happening here is that the last couple prior days in here, we had several distribution days. Distribution days are really not negative for the market. Are, I mean, excuse me, are negative for the market. It's where you have institutions that are selling. They're the ones that are really controlling the market and where there's more downside volume than upside or you could even say churning. You can even combine that with where we are right now. We took out the 10 period exponential moving average. We're knocking on the door. We're a little bit below 30 exponential moving average. The other fact is that we have a divergence here. Um, you could say it's not healthy. And at times like this, you have to be very, very careful because when the market is in a, let's say, um, not a positive state, let's say the uptrend is in um, doubt, it can continue and it can get a lot worse. You really want to buy when the market is healthy and you want to buy the strongest stocks and the ones that have institutional ownership. And that leads me to talk about two different stocks that I want to talk about today. One of them is Facebook, which pretty much is everyone's favorite. Let me open it. One second. Let me find it here. Uh, bear with me one second. Here we go. And Facebook is interesting. <clears throat> it's interesting for a lot of reasons. One is it took out the 50 period exponential moving average and then basically tested it and failed. It failed taking it out and it started turning up. Really what you want to see is like this is on my watch list. Like I would be interested in buying Facebook if it takes out, let's say, 54.91, it takes out this cup. Because what's happening is you have all the people that bought in here, then they're a little bit disappointed, and you want to see a breakout. That could be a potential buy if the market is healthy. Again, anything can happen. There's a tremendous, tremendous amount of optimism in the market. If you look at the AAII, I think it's something like 58% of all investment advisors are positive and markets top when investment advisors are positive and markets bottom when they're negative. Combine that also with the extreme levels of margin debt, it's also not a favorable. The other thing I really want to underline and accentuate is that the greatest profits are made during the, the actual coming out of a correction or coming out of a bear market. So even when I'm going to be going long Facebook, if, I, if it ever hits it, it's not going to be on a full full force of my account size because I, this is an old bull market. It's been going since March of 2009. Yes, we had a little bit of a correction in 2011, but still. Another stock I'm looking at is actually it's the equivalent of Google in, the, uh, in Russia or the Soviet, well, past Soviet Union. Same scenario. <clears throat> What's interesting here is you're also looking to take out this cup this proverbial cup and what's interesting is you had a lot of down volume here then conversely the next day you had a lot of up volume which is even greater but it would be interesting if we can take out the highs back from here which you can see is about 42 ish 4210 or so again none of this is for any personal recommendation this is what I'm going to be doing in my own proprietary account and this is the type of ideas that I teach I teach trend following and I teach trend retracements. There's a stock that I'm going to be actually taking a position in later today when the market opens. Let me show it to you. It's uh, called DL or the symbol. And basically it's a pattern recognition type of idea. Um, bear with me one second. Let me just get it open. And one sec, one sec, one sec. I'm going too quick. Here we go. And let's hope it opens. It seems to be one of these hot sectors of this Chinese educational scenario. And basically, you can see it's in a strong trend. You can almost see like the scenario here, and then it popped. Scenario here, and it popped. We've had these down days. We've had three down days. We also had some big up move here. And this is just an algorithmic pattern recognition that I trade. I'm going to be buying this on the open. I'm risking 1% of my account size. And to see what happens and it has a very 
short profit target. It's somewhere up in here. And we never know what can happen. That's why we trade with stops. And I suggest that you trade with stops. I suggest you have a full trading plan that tells you exactly what to buy, how much to buy, when to exit with a loss, or even exit with a profit. Again, this is Andrew from Trend Following Mentor. And if there's any way I can help you, please let me know. Thank you very much.